Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgam Ash, and today I want to look at the useful ways Smile Game Builder handles 3D object and character animations. By the end of this video, I hope you'll have a better understanding of how to use these features of SGB. In this video, we will not be talking about 2D sprite animations, nor will we be talking about the particle animations for the effects. Only 3D objects that have rigs or are otherwise intended to be mobile. So let's become familiar with how Smile Game Builder uses animations to make your models walk, attack, run, dance, and more. Note that this video will not necessarily be a tutorial or step-by-step -step on how to import select animations or models into SGB. Rather, it is a plain spoken introduction into SGB's model and animation particularities. However, when I can tutorialize the process of importing character models and easily affixing new animations to existing characters, I hope you'll look forward to that video or series of videos. I see you, Tirodem. So first off, there are actually two different methods SGB takes advantage of to utilize animating your FBX models. I'm really glad that they give us both options, and you might be too when you know the difference. Smile Game Builder supports the Filmbox or FBX 3D model file format, and the two types of animations are more of a, an extensibility of the FBX format rather than a particularity of SGB, which make the format very versatile depending on your use case for the engine. One has to do with the model already having the animations built into it. Doors and cabinets that swing open, traps that activate, buttons that push, all of these objects in SGB have the animations included with or built into model file itself. If you decide you want to have animations be included with your model in this way, the model's file size will be bigger, proportional to the data needed to add animation frames that give the rig or mesh motion. The animations will also be unique to that model. In other words, you won't be able to share animations between it and other models in SGB. That's because the animations are part of the model file itself. To illustrate how these animations work, let's look at this model from SGB imported into Blender. You can see that all of the animations this model is capable of actually are here, and they play one right after the other. All of the model's points of movement move the model itself around, and each movement takes time measured in frames. Animation frames. Animations of this type are handled by a .def file which resides in the same folder as the model. This .def file, also called a definition file, allows you to name and set the animations within the model, and the data in the .def file can be read as animation name will begin at frame number and end at frame number. For models with multiple animations, each animation and its start and end frames will be on a new line. And when you bring a model of this type up in SGB and look at the associated animations in their list, you're really looking at the animations that are listed in the definition file. This animation type is most useful for these objects that have unique animations, such as doors, and evidently chickens, and small dogs. Ork. Was that necessary? Yes. Yes, it was. Now, something important to note here, this is the DEF file for the dog we just looked at. The DEF file contains names of animations that are reserved for default use within SGB. For example, walk, wait, run. These are all animations that can be called using event panels in the engine, but they are also specifically used by the engine in certain contexts. Run, for example, will always be the animation used when you are holding down the run button while moving in your game. And attack is the the animation used when your character attacks during a battle. The other way SGB deals with animations has to do with static models that have rigs but no animation data baked into them. These won't move around at all when we import them into Blender, at least not by default, and there are no frames of animation. So by themselves they do not move, but they can be animated by a separate external file that has an identical rig. So imagine if you will an invisible puppeteer with no puppet who is still making the motions as if they were making a puppet dance. Okay, that's kind of creepy. But that's what the meshless animation file is like. It knows what to move and how to move it, and it doesn't need visual data attached to it to do so. When you give the rig a model like this, the model now moves the same way that the rig does, just like being puppeteered. There's a little bit more that goes into it than that, but that's the basic idea. 
Characters that are from the same character set and that use the same animations from a motion folder are examples of this type. The purpose of this setup is to allow multiple characters who all have identical skeletons, so all of the type A or all of the type B or all of the type G and so on, to have access to the same motions. With this type, your character's FBX file will be much smaller, but they'll have access to all the same animations as they would if they were in the model file itself. The reason for this is because the animated rig in this example has the same setup as the character's rig. This is also why, say, type A animations don't work with the type B and others. They aren't set up the same way, with identical number of bones, parent and child bones, naming conventions, and so on. This is the same kind of setup popular MMORPG models have. The developers are able to add more motions for things like abilities and emotes later simply by animating a rig that is shared by characters in the game. In a future video, I hope to cover how to quickly import an animated character into SGB, such as those you might find in the Unity Asset Store, or even those you've created in a 3D program and rigged yourself, so please stay tuned. As always, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Till then, bye for now.